In this channel, I make predictions about how future technologies can improve our future and solve the problems we have today. In that spirit, over the next two weeks, I'll make a video series that will go over how we will solve one of the biggest problems humanity faces, hunger. Despite human civilization's progress in recent decades, the malnourishment rate among the human population is still very high, at around 10% or 815 million people being malnourished chronically. So, do we have to just sit there and watch? The answer is no, my fellow futurists. We can make strides towards a future where people don't have to die because they lack the basic necessity of food. But let's take a step back for a second and take a look at the problem. Ever since the agricultural revolution, the majority of our world's food comes from farms. And farms require two things to create land, and water. Unfortunately, those two things are very scarce and are even running out on Earth. In fact, only 3% of the Earth's water is fresh water. Furthermore, only 0.5% of the Earth's water is fresh water that is not in polar ice caps or is not too polluted to drink. Likewise, only 11% of our Earth's land is arable or suitable for agriculture. Although arable land can be created, it requires deforestation, and that is bad for our planet because it worsens climate change, kills off biodiversity, and encroaches on the territory of indigenous people. And although we already have so many starving people, the population is expected to peak at around 11 billion people in the year 2100. That means that we have to feed over 4 billion extra people by that time. So what exactly can we do to feed all those extra people and ensure that nobody is starving without destroying the environment? Enter vertical farming. The concept is very simple. It is the practice of growing crops in vertically stacked layers. Vertical farms can range from a few boxes of weed grown in somebody's garage to several stories high warehouses converted into farms that can feed thousands of people. But for today, Let's focus on the benefits large-scale vertical agriculture can have. Ranging from strawberries to tomatoes, vertical farms can grow many varieties of crops without running into many of the problems traditional agriculture has. For one, vertical farms are immune to droughts, soil issues, and locust swarms. If you've read about the locust swarms of summer 2020 that went all the way up to China, then you probably understand the amount of damage such swarms can do to farmers' livelihoods and crop outputs. And these swarms are only set to become worse with climate change. However, with vertical farms, people do not have to worry about such problems because the farms are not as reliant on outdoor soil and because the farms are tucked safely inside where locusts cannot enter. As such, having a more steady food supply will result in more food being produced and farmers not having to lose their livelihoods. But that's not all. Vertical farms also grow crops year-round, meaning that farmers can produce several times the output that traditional farming produces. Vertical farming is also good for the environment. It does not require nearly as much deforestation because it only uses 1 20th of the land traditional farming uses. Likewise, it does not use environmentally degrading pesticides and chemicals because the temperature and humidity levels inside the farms are well managed. Likewise, vertical farms do not have high transportation costs because the farms are located in cities, thus closer to the consumers. Finally, vertical farms only use 10% of the water traditional farming uses. And if I sound like a vertical farming evangelist at this point, you wouldn't be wrong. There are even more benefits such as safety and job creation, as vertical farming does not require as much skill as traditional farming does, and because vertical farming does not require the dangerous heavy machinery that traditional farming requires. With all these benefits stated, I believe that it is crucial for humanity to take up vertical farming in order to create a sustainable future where nobody starves. However, the current pace of change is a bit too slow. In 2018, 
vertical farming only made up less than 0.1% of the world's agricultural economy. This is expected to increase to only 0.25% by the year 2026. Despite this, I believe that governments will act in humanity's best interests by subsidizing vertical farms in the years to come due to the impact climate change will have on us. Not only do vertical farms decrease our environmental impact, they also help us grow food reliably despite global warming. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, joining our Discord server, and becoming a Patreon. Likewise, please watch either Space Elevator, Humanity's Babel Tower, or Possible Life on Venus. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.